Welcome to ACD Combatives, your combatives and control tactics channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Okay guys, I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the Total Gym XLS and the Total Gym Fit. Just so you can get a basic idea of uh, what you can expect with one and not the other and vice versa. So right away, um, you can see right, wrong, or different. Let me just pull this up here. This, the Total Gym Fit has 12 uh, levels. Now, it's, if you can kind of notice, it's just a, like maybe two, three inches tops taller. It really isn't any taller. And as you can see, you're not really getting any uh, height advantage. Because you can only go so high before the, the machine might become unsafe and you want it, you don't want to tip. Uh, this XLS has six levels. Now, it's not that it's going to get any more difficult per se at the top level. It's just that there is uh, a lot more space in between levels. So you have a little bit more adjustment opportunities with the fit. It's, uh, again, a little bit more adjustment in between levels. So uh, you can progress a little bit more comfortably, um, hypothetically. So that's one difference right there. And they made some subtle differences in accessories as well. Now this is, if you remember my previous, uh, previous video, this is the standard deck that comes with it, the squat rack or squat deck. This is the uh, aftermarket one I bought, and I'll remind you the brand name. I have an entire video that kind of showcases it. It's the GRS Flex. It fits in another brand or off-brand machine, but it's maybe $20 cheaper, um, and it doesn't really seem to be really, uh, it's not it's not any worse than the one that comes with it. It's about twenty dollars cheaper. The total gym might be a, uh, maybe a little better. I don't know. I haven't seen it in person. I'm only comparing pictures. Um, one thing that that I like, and these these military presses, if you remember from my last video, these are after they're accessories that are made by Total Gym, but they're aftermarket. You buy them a separate from the machine. The machine comes with these attachments. If you watch my first video, I show you how to do the hamstring curl, um, and this is a pull-up bar, and if you wanted to do press motions like a military press for your shoulders, you just detach them, and then you would put them down here. To avoid that, I did the aftermarket and just bought the permanent ones that I just installed permanently. We won't talk about the bar in this video. If you want to know more about that, it's in previous videos. What this allows is a little bit more flexibility with the machine. Not a lot, but a little bit more. There are some cable exercises you can do now because of this. You can see that it flows separately. Now, if you have really long arms or if you're doing a major extension in something like a, if you have long arms and you're doing a bench press, you could tap out. So that's either here or there. I'm just making it. I just want you to be aware of that. But it does give you a little bit more advantage in that regard. What came with the XLS, and I do believe you can buy these after aftermarket now. They're, again, total gym parts, but they're aftermarket accessories that you can buy. This is what came originally with the machine. As you can see, the bar goes all the way across. It's pretty stout, so it's not going to break or anything. Uh, it's, all these parts are stout, regardless of the machine. So you can't do any cable work because the bar is in the way. And again, with this, you can do some limited cable work, uh, some back stuff, um, and I might show that in the video when I cut away. Um, you can't do that here. Uh, neither here or there. Some people could hear care less. Others are like, oh, well, that's a selling, uh, selling point right there. Um, as you know from my previous video, I'm a bit of a prima donna, and I like to cut as many seconds off accessory changes as possible. One of those things that you don't have to worry too much about with the total gym anyway, but it is it is an issue. Um, so you would take this off and put it at the base machine for your presses. You can see that uh, the total gym 
fit is maybe it's just a little stouter like this tube steel goes all the way around where the XLS is uh, it's hollow here but guys I'm here to tell you I weigh 100, 180 pounds I'm 5'9 ish 180 pounds so I'm average height average weight if you're like a three four hundred pound person um, I would recommend getting they have a gym model that's actually a pro model that's not super expensive it's like four grand but that can handle the, the abuse of big heavy people or if you're a bodybuilder and have a lot of mass or whatever but if you're a bodybuilder you're probably not interested in the total gym but as you can see um, the deck decks are almost identical um, if I remember right the, the XLS deck from a video I watched is just a tad shorter but the width is about the same uh, and the fit model stretches out a little farther just a little farther it's hard to tell on camera but guys there's not mass differences between the machines so um, you can do pretty much everything on one you can do with the other here's some of the accessories I was telling you about that I'm not going to demonstrate it's this is for Pilates and you would hook it up on this right here it's 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 great for Pilates or you could use it for just stretching um, so I hope this is helpful again I just wanted to give you a side-by-side -side. some people are gonna automatically want to go to the total gym fit because it just gives you just a little bit more flexibility it's it's hard to to really gauge and it is a little stouter a little better built but guys both of them are are built completely completely fine uh, you're not gonna have any issues so many parts that you can replace like after a while these are like aircraft grade cables from what I understand and they um, wrap them with like a coating a plastic coating um, you can they, they all they're all the same you can replace them um, and all you have to do is get new ones if you need new ones and you can get them through total gym accessories uh, guys they're pretty close I just wanted to give you a video explaining the differences and as you can see there's not major differences the big advantage if 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 you want to call it that is just a little bit more flexibility in between uh, levels and again the machine the, the fit models just a little bit more stout a little better built not by much it's again guys it's not going to be a big deal if you if you want to go with the xlt i don't remember the price differences at this point that's up for you that's up to you to figure out uh because there's holiday sales and all that other stuff and again what i was demonstrating is you get some flexibility with still being able to use the cables now what i had on the machine in the last video and i mistakenly said that they uh were this item were these aftermarket uh doodads here these are the pull-up bars that you can buy to replace this if you want so you'd put this back on if you wanted to do hamstrings this is the one thing you can't do with those you can do the hamstring curl um, and then you could pull put those on to do regular pull-ups and as you can see and I, this is what I usually have on the machine all the time you have different angles you can do more like a hammer pull versus a standard pull different widths different angle they're really nice but when you start buying all the extra accessories you you pretty much start raising the price it's like buying a Glock it, it, Glock pistol it comes with everything you need but everybody wants to replace the sights some people want to do like the sandpaper gripping some people want to do trigger jobs which I do not recommend but this isn't a firearms channel um, guys the standard model it's 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 the Toyota Corolla of exercise machines it's going to work it's going to run forever and it's going to be just a terrific machine and you're going to get the same thing same performance out of this just a few extra advantages all right guys here i am demonstrating some of the differences between the machines just a few uh a few things you can see the pull-ups pretty much the same again that pull-up bar on uh, that model is connected and you can't really use the cable um, this is the pull-up bars that come with the fit model and that works guys it works the same it's just that uh, you can use some cable minor cable work with it and here I am going to demonstrate that I'm hooking up the cable and uh, 
it, you could see the cables are rubbing slightly against the metal, but they're not interacting with the uh, padded section. So don't worry about that. Um, so it's smooth. I'm doing just some quick uh, variations to show you that, yes, you can do things with those on. Where with the XLS model, you would have to take that accessory off. That's one of the minor advantages to the fit model. Um, just less interaction and changing. Here I'm showing you that, again, both machines come with the the deck cards that uh, like 80, 85, 86 different variations. It also comes with a poster, but I don't use the poster. And I really don't use the deck cards much anymore. Every once in a while I'll reference them. What I used mostly was the videos. And these are just some of the videos, the basic, intermediate, and advanced videos there on the right. They're uh, Total Gym produced and you can buy them basic, intermediate, advanced. They're really good videos. The instructor is a little too happy for my sake. He kind of annoys me a little bit, but it's they're good videos. You can actually silence it, if I remember right. And the six and eight minute abs, I believe, come with the machine. Um, so you get some basic video references along with your machine. But if you're looking for some actual good uh, videos, Total Gym makes them, but guys, YouTube is loaded full of stuff. Obviously, you're looking at my video on YouTube, so you are already aware of the benefits of YouTube. All righty, if you have any questions, email them to me or throw them up in the comments, and uh, everybody take care. Again, this is your channel, so ask me to produce certain types of videos. Control Tactics and Combatives is what I mostly do. Remember that, but I will do other stuff. Thank you.